everyone in this video i'm gonna answer the top most question that you guys been asking and that is what canadian universities or colleges that offer the clinical research program My name's alexa i'm a clinical research associate and i've been raising awareness about the clinical research industry but before we get started i just want to put a disclaimer out there that i'm not affiliated to any of these universities or colleges i'm just here to provide information to those who are looking for it let's start with the universities and yes i do have my handy dandy notebook um, just to make sure I won't forget uh, the details. So let's start with York University. Um, this is under their continuing education program. Uh, they call it Clinical Research Program Certificate. So it's a six course program and one of their courses is a simulation course. They call it Capstone. This simply means that they don't have an internship, they don't have a workplace term. It's 11 months duration for, it could be for full-time uh, studies or part-time. It is blended online and in person. This is per uh, course enrollment. So that's for York University. I have here Mac and Master and they called it Applied Clinical Research Program. It's also a certificate. They have five courses. It's all online. It could be done in full-time or part-time and you enroll per course and uh, they have one simulation course they also call it capstone so again there's no work term for this i feel like these two uh universities that offer this clinical research program are targeted to those who have experience already and are professionals in the healthcare field and just want to get into clinical research this is probably why they don't have a work term um, but you can inquire another university offer this is the Western University and this one is not a certificate but is a diploma and they call it clinical trial management uh, they have 10 courses it could be hybrid it could be full online or it could be uh, in your in paste it's going to be one year for full-time students and two years for part-time students a thing that I like the most in this program is that they have a work term. They call it four month work integrated learning placement. If you start in September, your placement is gonna be from May to August. And this one is also eligible. So for Canadian students or PR students here, uh, you can apply OSAP for this program. So I feel like it's great um, in terms of the universities that offer the clinical research program. So we have York, McMaster, and Western. And uh, again, Western, they have it, they offer it as a diploma uh, than a certificate. Now let's move on to the colleges. I have here, first one on my list is Humber. Um, they call it Clinical Research Postgraduate Certificate Program. This one is three semesters. It looks like it's only full-time uh, that they offer, no part-time. It's fully online uh, as well, depending on your start term. It could be online or in person. If you start in the fall term, course base are all gonna be online. And then your last semester is gonna be in person, how which is the work placement. If you're gonna start in January for winter term, they have it like as course based and it's gonna be in person. And then the last semester again, is gonna be in person uh, in a workplace environment and this one is also OSAP eligible for for the students out there for Canadian as uh, Canadian citizen and PR I feel like it's a great program for the reason that it has internship in it so I love that and for the second uh, college here I'm listing them down in no particular order I'm just listing them down for the sake of my <laughs> of my list the second one I have here is Seneca they call it clinical research certificates it's two semesters for one year it's full-time there's an option for it to be part-time and it's quite unique because they don't 
have a required semester for you to do the work term they have it as optional you need to meet their eligibility requirements for you to enroll to their work term as semesters this program starts january may and september and if it's osap it's not really specified on their website so you would have to inquire uh, to this college and it looks like it's for domestic students only. The third on my list is Conestoga College. They call it Clinical Research Certificate. It's a one-year program and it's in-person delivery for two semesters. It's all full-time. Uh, maybe it could be part-time. You just need to inquire. They have this capstone course but it's not a simulation. It's more of you creating a, a clinical research proposal from all the knowledge that you have learned in the other courses in this program and this one has no work term and that's why they have this capstone course it is also OSAP eligible and the next on my list is Sheridan College this is a, also a clinical research a certificate program it is one year and it has a work term as the last term full-time or part-time and their online um, delivery and also OSAP eligible. Another college, one on my list that I found is Missioner Institute. This is a certificate program, clinical research is online. They have 12 to 24 months for you to complete the program. I think they only have five courses and it's per course enrollment. It's not OSAP eligible. It's also continuing education uh, category uh, for this Missionary Institute. I just want to add here, what are the common courses that they offer? Mostly like introduction to clinical research, improving your communication, drug development, um, monitoring. There's some QA as well in clinical research and also data management and biostats but the course name differ per college and university so you just have to uh, look that up for more details in terms of the program fees here if you're a domestic student it's roughly 7,500 this is based on the last school year on their websites if you're an international student it is around 17 to 20 thousand canadian dollars just keep that in mind as i mentioned earlier there's this one college that offers only for domestic students when i checked on the fees they don't there's no there's no international fees so you have to double check. So York, McMaster, and Missioner, you would need to inquire if they accept international students. But I feel like it doesn't matter if you're international or domestic because it's per course enrollment. You would just have to double check if you're an international student. However, for Western Humber, Sheridan, and Conestoga, they all offer the program to international and domestic students. In terms of the requirements for you to apply to this college, colleges and university the minimum basic minimum is that you have to have a bachelor of science degree in health sciences science nursing biological sciences chemistry biomedical science like all of those bachelor of science degrees some of them they also have additional requirements for western they require you to at least have an average of 70% minimum for the last two years of your undergrad. If you're a professional already and it's been a long time since you've been out from university, you could still apply. That's one of the requirements as well. And again, these are just all my opinions and the information that I'm given to you. You would have to still double check with admissions of these colleges and universities just to get more details. And also you could go to their websites to learn more. You have to really take a step back, understand what do you need right now for you to get into clinical research. If you're a fresh grad, and you're looking to get into this field of course you would look into those colleges and universities that offer the program with internship if you're already in the field and you just need an upgrade then mcmaster york university and missioner programs would be a great fit for you um, since they're just fully course based with simulations conestoga might be also since it doesn't have the work term but again for those of you who are newly grad, please, please, please look into universities and colleges that offer um, internship. It helps a lot. 
in terms of getting your experience out there. It doesn't matter if it's in clinical research or in the other field. If you're wanting to go back, if you have the time and the money to still go back to school after your undergrad, look into uh, programs with internship. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you guys and I really wish all the best in terms of your career path and let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like, subscribe and comment down below again if you have any questions. And turn on that notification bell because I'll be posting more content. Bye!